You got your new spot located. Yes, yeah, located on uh what's that 19125 West McNichols in Detroit. Mm-hmm. So obviously I can see the spinoff because it's like paint with a twist. Exactly. <laughs> but 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 instead of paint with a twist, you in there. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> so, so, so tell me a little bit about what this space is and what inspired this space. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm Vince Perkins. Uh, got a special guest today. Got, uh, Eddie Kane, everybody. What up, though? What up, though, y'all? All right. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. hey, hey, uh, what's up, Eddie Kane? Man, introduce yourself to the people. What up, though? It's actor Eddie Kane from Detroit, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first lady, one, two, three, indictment, the spot, I declare war. Oh, my goodness. Vigilante, another heist. You hey, so let's go, so, so let's just get into get into it, man. As far as these movies, because you in them, you killing them. Uh, I've seen three of them myself. It sounds like I need to see about five more of them because you just, <laughs> just rattled off about eight. How did you how did you start acting in these movies? Um, I always wanted to be in film. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I didn't know where I wanted to be at in film, but I just I always wanted to make films and music. You know what I'm saying? Music and film is almost the same thing. So I always okay. wanted to be on some creative. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'll start with the first lady three, the last one I saw. It seems like, and and I and I uh, talked to a couple of other people about this. When you come on the screen in your scenes, I I know the scene that you had. You had one scene where uh you was talking to a young lady about kind of I, I don't want to you know give up the whole movie, but talking to the lady about giving up uh her her product, <laughs> her product, and it just seems like when you on the screen. Every time it's 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 uh it's comical and you just steal the show. Your your scenes are unforgettable. Once I see your scene, it's just like that's the scene that stole the show, that's the scene that stole the movie. So what do you attest to coming you, on the scene? What do you attest to that though? Dope directors. Okay, and, you know what I'm saying? And, and working with somebody that know me and, and kind of let me do that. You feel me? Okay, and oh, that's that's another thing. <laughs> another thing that when I see you in every movie, you know, when I saw you in uh, uh, the the uh, indictment mm. and uh, you were getting interrogated, I it's like you're acting, but I believe you. <laughs> I, 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 hey, and that's it. But that's the part. That's the part that that's comical. The part that's comical is that you're acting, but I'm like. I believe what he's saying. I believe, <laughs> I believe if he was in an interrogation room, he'd be like, man, this nigga over there singing like Whitney. Like, I believe that that's what you would say. And that's why, like, I was at the I was at the drive and it was just like everybody started cracking up because it's real. So right. how, how much of your real life or your real person do you put into inside of these characters? Um. Basically everything is like with the characters I played so far. So far, it's probably been like 50-50. I always try to bring a little something more to a character. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can't have a character. You can't just be a part you in a movie. So it's half me, half the character. They let me build that character. Dennis, um, with the movies you talking about, the director is Dennis Reed, and he okay. let me build those characters. He gave me the freedom to build those characters and make. Shout out to Dennis out. Reed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So he, he, the, the, the freedom you're talking about, it's allowing yeah. you to go where you need to go as far yeah. as, you know, for that character. So having that freedom lets you, you know, try different things and go different places to whereas it, it just comes, the synergy just comes right. together. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm um, naturally silly anyway. I'm naturally silly anyway. And I know oh, how okay. to bring comedy to a serious situation. Okay. Okay. Cause it's, that's, it seems like, like I said, that's easy for you to do, and that's what I see in the show. In the, in the show, because in the movies, because it, it, it is a serious situation. But then it's you like being serious, and then dropping like dropping jokes on top of being serious, which is which is fire. It, it works out. It works out. 
Are you gonna start directing or doing some movies yourself? Hell yeah. Hell what yeah. You, got, what you, what you, got, you got anything in the pipeline you wanna talk about? Um right now I'm working on I just sent the script to Samuel Shabazz. He one of the uh he's a hot artist in Detroit. He's a rapper. I just um we just did a short. I just sent him a short. We probably gonna make it into a full movie though. But he looking it over, he's gonna see if it works. He liked it so far, so we're gonna try to see what we can do with that. Are you reaching out to you know these other people, these other directors, you know the the people that was in you was 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 in the movie with you, like the director Dennis Reed you mentioned? Are you reaching out to these people just to kind of like bridge the gap and help you kind of just go off to your own thing? I'm still learning. Yeah, I'm still, most definitely because I'm still in the learning process. Okay. You okay. Film, it's a lot you gotta learn. Okay, There's so many many different hats. You feel me? So Dennis, right now, um, I'll be under Dennis' direction. Under he's going to, to teach me how to direct properly. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I'll be learning on set more. As far as you have, uh, you have your new place, a space opened up. Now it's on. Uh, it's called Paint with a Spiff. P- painting with a spliff, like a Jamaican oh, joint. A okay, spliff. okay, okay, yeah. Jamaican joint. There you yeah. go. So you got your new, you got your new spot located. Yes, yeah, located on uh what that nineteen one two five West McNichols in Detroit. Mm-hmm. So obviously, I can see the spinoff because it's like paint with a twist. Exactly. <laughs> but 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 instead of paint with a twist, you in there. <laughs> like that. <laughs> So, so so tell me a little bit about what this space is and what inspired this space. Um, most definitely paint with a twist inspired it. Okay. Um, I'm not a drinker. You know, at paint with a twist, you go in there with your wine and your drinks. I'm not really a drinker. I'm a smoker. Okay. I, when me and my wife went, we had a nice time. But um, you know how they give you a little break? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I kept going outside smoking. It was cold outside. Everybody else in there. They drinking and they eating. I'm outside cold trying to smoke and get my hat on. You <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, this would be dope. Only if we could just sit in there with them and do our thing. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so then that that kind of inspired, like, hey, like right. we're gonna build in. Right. And we could do the same thing. And then um we we thought about it for like a couple of months and Trying to figure out how could we do it, and then it just so happened I went to a twenty the, the cannabis cup out in Denver. When I went to Denver, they actually had um, it wasn't called paint with a split; though. it was called something else. But they actually had the puff and paint going on. So I called okay. my wife like, "Yo, they they do it down here." Mm. You know what I'm saying? So and Denver is very progressive as far as smoking weed. Yeah. They're they are they're ahead of the game because they, yeah, they, 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 they 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 Ray J. They hit it first all day. <laughs> right. All day. So they, and they put me way ahead of the game. Cause as soon as I came back home, we got right on it. Like, all right, uh-huh. what about to do. Like, how does it work? Or, or could I could I just come on a random day or how does it work? We open every day from five to two in the morning. Every day is a different theme. Monday, right right now, we have Monday night football. Tuesdays is uh, pot and poetry. Okay. Wednesdays is ball. We do blaze and ballroom lessons. Okay. Learning to me, a hustle and a Bruno Mars. Thursday is trap karaoke game night. Um, Friday and Saturdays is open paint and party days. <laughs> now, our, ours are already sketched out for you. Okay. I already sketched out for you, so you pretty much just paint them. But oh, if you okay. want, and if you want, if you have, if you want to plan a paint party, if you want to do a paint party, I will have. I do have instructors also that oh. teach, that that teach you step by step the process. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so this is what we do on this show. On this okay. show, we just we show love. This okay. is what we do. We show love. That's we show right. love. We show the listeners love. We show everybody love. So. I'm putting you on the spot right now. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> so do you have anything to offer the listeners right now as far as some percentage off or just give my listeners something? I want my people to come see you. If they, if they, they mention you, they get 
they get twenty. They get what? Ten dollars off. I give them ten dollars off. Ten dollars off. So if you yeah. mention you mention Vince Perkins, you get. Let me let me let me let my people know now. <laughs> off of, if you painting, if you okay. want to come up here and paint and mention Vince Perkins, I you might I usually charge thirty five for the kits, but for you I do it for twenty five. So ten dollars off. Ten dollars off. Now you come. It's it's a ten dollar admission if you want to chill. Thirty five to paint. Or you have ten dollar admission or thirty five. Oh, it's wild over there. What's going on, cuz? Oh, they you know, they out there fooling. <laughs> What's going? I thought you was gonna duck. I, you, <laughs> I hear tire track. So you get ten dollars off if you go there and you mention this podcast, Vince Perkins, Opinions of Like Podcast. Let them know you saw them, and you get ten dollars off. That's what we offering. You that's, that's what, what we, we are. Hey man, to all my, to all my to all my smokers, to all my smokers, I mean, he got the things, he got the Monday night football, he got all that. Like he got the karaoke. You got you. It's it's nice that you mixing things because I could just like football and then right. come and end up, you know, painting something and getting high. Exactly. You know, you know I could just like like damn, I like ballrooming and then come there and do both. Exactly. So if so we can do yeah. everything. We got, we got games. We got. Dominoes, cards, you come play space, big wish, phase 10. I got the extra large uh connect four. I got the extra large domino. Man, man, y'all got it. Y'all gotta check out my man. Y'all gotta check out my man. Gotta check me out, man. Gotta check him out. The extra large domino. Okay. Me? Okay. We got the yeah, you feel me? Come on through, man. Let's have some fun. Okay, man. Hey, y'all check out my man. Paint with a spliff. It's on 19, 125 West McNichols in Detroit, man. Hit him up. Check him out on that, on that end. Please, 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 please. And mention me. Mention me. You get $10 off. Mention me. Mention this podcast. You get $10 off. So I just did a short film. This is just an experiment called Beware of Dogs. I'm going to drop that. It's a little short uh, experimental film. We're doing for sci-fi. It's some sci-fi shit going on. So what you do that? So, so let's say me, like I want to get in the game. Like I'm a young, you know, I see, I see you acting. I see it's, you know, it's, 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 it's nice. You know, I'm, I'm like, dang, like that's hilarious. What do, would you, what's your advice to somebody who wants to just get their feet wet and kind of get in the game in that way? What, what would they do first or what would they do, you know, next? Start hitting these auditions and meeting these people and at least going to the, uh, when we need extras, we need extras all day, every day. At least start going there and helping us out. You feel me? All right. Anything that you would suggest? I mean, it's, you know, I'll ask, but it seems like, you know, would you suggest anybody, you know, take some type of classes first? Or did you take oh, any definitely. former classes? Oh, take okay. classes, read books, read as many books as you can. Take as many classes as you can. Okay. Okay. Practice makes perfect. You never stop practicing. Or learn. Even if you're working on stuff for free, you're working on stuff as a hobby, just keep practicing at the craft. Hey, man, it's Eddie Kane. Everybody, it's Eddie Kane. Is there anything you want to leave us with? We're going to get out of here. I got You got to have some words of inspiration. You got to have some. You got to leave <laughs> us with. You got to have a saying that you always say. You got to have some words of inspiration. You got to have something. Leave, leave my people with something so they could they could like feel like, damn, I got this from Eddie Kane. Hey, give me, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but give me my some. Favorite, my favorite is teamwork make the dream work. You can't do it by yourself, man. But teamwork make the dream work. For real, for real. Teamwork make the dream work, man. So you you would say, you know, it sounds like with with that with that being said, with everything you got going on. You 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 got a great support system and the, and great people behind you that that's that's actually pushing you and that's get, well, you know getting getting you in the right place. Anybody you want to shout out? My wife and the kids. Okay, Dennis Reed. Everybody that believed in me that come up here with paint with a split for supporters and show love. Everybody okay, you have that, you have people that like you for letting me get on your podcast. Hey man, you know that appreciate what I do. No problem. That's where you at now. You at the you at the shop now. Most definitely. Okay, okay, okay. Working, working it, working all it. The time, all the time. Okay, hey man, I appreciate you coming on. Anything that you need for me or us to do, we own it. 
We okay, own it. Thank you, bro. I appreciate <laughs> so, it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, it's, it's Eddie Kane. <laughs> <laughs>